Hi guys. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, it's New Year's Eve. We never do much uh, for New Year's Eve in this house. It used to be when the children were small. Um, well, not small, but younger. That Nick and I always had New Year's Eve as our own. And that was when we would do how, 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 how our celebrations. Now they're older and we're together, we're alone all the time. It, it doesn't feel necessary, but it used to be that, that we'd sort of steal away for New Year's Eve. So we usually just find ourselves having a, a really nice dinner. Um, I'll cook something special and we just relax. And quite often we're in bed and fast asleep at, at um, you know, as the clock turns. <laughs> it's old age, isn't it, eh? <laughs> anyway, I've come on today. One is after this chat, um will be that video that i did uh something like the 4th of december of the jd williams clothing haul jd williams no kaleidoscope i've still the jd williams one to do the kaleidoscope haul so i'm going to add that on um but i'm actually here to draw my uh giveaway winners now i took your advice and you all said lots of small packages so i've actually done 10 um, they're on the table all laid out. I'll try and insert a bit of that at the end or something. Um, so I've got my comment picker up. Now normally I show you each and every single one, but we'll be here all day with 10. So I'm gonna do one, <laughs> then I'm gonna stop this, do the other nine, um, write them up in my pad, and then I'll come back and tell you who they are. So let's do the first one. Now I didn't ask for any special comments. I didn't ask for anything like that. It was just, um, oh, hang on my last um you know the last video of the advent calendars the last one before christmas day i'm doing it on so here we go i'm getting the U youtube comments from that particular video um and 250 unique comments so now i am going over here and i'm starting the raffle so we'll see the first one so the first one is am garnet have a lovely Christmas with your family and thank you for all the great videos this year. So A.M. Garnet. Next we have Cheryl Parrish with anything you like with the boxes for. I'm so sorry things are a bit difficult at present. Hopefully by the big day everything will have settled. No one has been let down. You've done a marvellous job through December. Thank you. Happy Christmas to you and yours. Thank you. That's lovely. Next is someone called Sheepy Mez. Um, very long comment. I'm going to read it anyway. Um, or oh, bum, fawn. You're having a bit of a poopy time. <laughs> she talks like me. <laughs> it's been one thing after another with you lately. I'm so sorry things have just come and slapped your family in the face. Hopefully by New Year things will be better and you can start off with a big smile and things being positive. I'm sorry about Danny, poor old man. I know you will do the best you can for him. And if that time comes when he's got to go, you know he'll be off galloping in pastures new as fit as a fiddle and enjoying his new adventure remembering how good you were to him now you didn't need to do all your advents just for us you could have kept the surprise going for yourself daily as a little pick-me-up we all understand things have gotten a bit hectic and wouldn't blame you for not filming real life comes first thank you so much for all the videos you've done for us i've thoroughly enjoyed every one since i found you earlier this year and binged on them all i hope you have a good christmas day and that things calm even for just a few hours so you can enjoy the festivities with your family and the excitement the grandkids will bring much love and many hugs to your dear fawn Merry Christmas. P.S. Many boxes would probably be more fair to the viewers for a giveaway. So there we go. That was a lovely long message. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sheepy Mez. <laughs> I'll be curious to know what your real name is. <laughs> Sheepy Mez. Next is Anne Sheldrake and she just put Happy Christmas to you. I think small boxes would give, ev give everyone more chance to win. Very true. So that was Anne Sheldrake. Serena Jones. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Fawn. Thank you for being around and making 2021 a little more bearable. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Small boxes. Rian Craig. <laughs> Rian's been around a long time. Um, Rian Craig just put Merry Christmas, Fawn. Well done, Rian. Then we have Michelle Newland. Small boxes and spread the love. Hope you have a great festive season, Fawn. Please let us know how you got on with the snag tights. Well, I covered that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, knickers under the buttocks. Next up, Linda Rogers. 
Uh, really enjoyed the box this fall. I've been following you for a few months and really look forward to seeing you. Hope your family get better soon and we'll be thinking of Danny. Have a wonderful Christmas with your family. Look forward to seeing you soon. God bless and take care. That's eight so far. So number nine, Amy Schmidt. <gasps> Talking of Schmidt. Has anybody watched? No, see, it's not Schmidt actually. This is the way my brain works. Does anybody watch Schitt's Creek? If you don't watch it, ladies, you must watch it. It is my absolute favourite series um, of last year. I even got the book. Um, my, my eldest sort of bought me the book of, of behind the scenes and everything. It is absolutely wonderful. When you first watch it, the first episode or two, you're sitting there thinking, what? What's, what, what, what? Oh no, this doesn't seem like my kind of thing. And it sucks you in and it is just happy and feel good and amazing. Shit's Creek, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Anyway, Amy Schmidt, <laughs> it was a shit bit that did it. Amy Schmidt won. Fawn, you're one of the nicest people on Facebook. You clearly appreciate your good fortune and want to share it. Smaller goodie boxes to more people gets my vote. Please don't feel guilty for a second. I love that despite all the stresses you have, I hope that despite all the stresses you have, that you have a wonderful Christmas you deserve. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Thank you so much, Amy Schmidt. And then we're going to have our final winner in a minute. Heather Simpson. Heather Simpson, never apologise for spending time with your family, Fawn. Have a wonderful Christmas. Oh, and small boxes so more people can share your beautiful goodies. Heather Simpson. So there we go. Right now, let me add her on. So we have... Our 10 winners are A.M. Garnet, Cheryl Parrish, Sheepy Mez, Anne Sheldrake, Serena Jones, Rian Craig, Michelle Newland, Linda Rogers, Amy Schmidt, and Heather Simpson. Now these all unfortunately need to be UK um, addresses um, because they're actual items. So obviously if somebody doesn't live in the uk if they'll let me know and i will redraw another name which will feel really really mean but it's the way it's got to be because these are actual physical items and i just don't know whether i could ever get them to your house i've never had any success getting any post to america um in fact so much so that my um eldest daughter god love her she hasn't had anything from me and it just unless i can get it through amazon.com or one of the american company i'm waving this pencil around or one of the American companies, unless it's a dot-com address. Um, she's not getting anything from me because it's just so hard to get that done these days. You wouldn't think it, would you? We're sitting here, I'm talking to you from my living room, well, conservatory, um, and people all over the world can see this, but can I get, you know, a lipstick to my daughter in New York? No, I can't. So I've got to do, as I say, Amazon.com or an American company. Um, so yeah, they're the 10 winners. So if you'll all get in touch with me with your addresses, I think some of you might have. I mean, I'm sure I've got Rian's. Um, but just let me know you've seen it and give me your addresses. Then I can package up these for they're, they're sort of semi-packed. <laughs> and then I can send them out to you. Um, as I say, it's New Year's Eve. We're having a quiet New Year's Eve. Um, the kids have just gone for a, a walk. Oh, they needed it. Oh, do you know what fascinates me about children? They can be so ill, so ill, vomiting and, and laying on the sofa. And I mean, they're like little grey ghosts. And you start to worry. You start to You're looking at me, you're thinking, oh, you know, I don't know if this cow pole is, is enough. Maybe we need to be, you're trying to force juice down them and, you know, make sure they get lots of fluids. And then the next thing, you look around and they're acting like absolute lunatics. And in fact, this morning, I heard the biggest shout. <laughs> I was upstairs in the room that I get dressed in. And the window of that room, I always have it open for fresh air, but the window of that room looks directly down onto their little bit of garden off the back of their house. And as I was, <laughs> as I was standing there drying myself, um, I saw the, the, the patio door open and out streamed the children. So out came Milo first. He had on tracksuit uh, bottoms, and Wellingtons, but no top. Levi came out next. He had on a winter coat, <laughs> a ballet skirt, as he calls them, which is like a tutu skirt, and nothing on his legs. And last, streaking through the door, was um, Lara, just wearing her pyjama top. 
straight out into the teeth of the wind. I mean, it's not that bad today, to be fair, you can see, it's quite nice. But I mean, it's certainly not weather for sick children to be doing that. And then literally, she'd no sooner run out <laughs> after her brothers that I heard, yo kids, get in here. And they literally turned tail and ran back in that. Because, I mean, it's, it's the last place they should be. And Mummy had obviously turned her back for two seconds and a door had been thrown on. But it was the way they had these combo of outfits on as well. I mean, between the three of them, they might have managed one whole outfit. But that was about it. Um, and I just know that I'll go in there this afternoon and they'll be laying on it. Because it seems to, they need a nap in the afternoon at the moment. They need to sort of keel over for a few hours, which is very unusual. They don't normally do that. But I'll go in this afternoon. They'll be watching a film or so say watching a film. And they'll all be snoozing on the sofas like dying swans again. It's amazing. You know, you or I, we'd just take ourselves off to bed and that would be it. We wouldn't be seen. So um, they had a smashing Christmas day. Um, I'm trying to think. St <clears throat> I nearly said her name again. I nearly said my daughter's name. Anyway, New York. I'm going to have to come up with a fake name for you, you know, because it drives me mad trying to do this. I used to call my girls Pinky and the Brain. They were always Pinky and the Brain. Um, and the one that lives in New York is the Brain. So I might just have to start saying the Brain. Um, they all did tests yesterday. Her husband is now COVID free. Um, and, and her guest, the, the, the little girl who's been a guest, is also COVID free, but unfortunately she is still uh, registering positive with COVID, as is their male guest, her, her oh, it would be her brother-in-law, wouldn't it? Her brother-in-law, he's still registering positive because they really were quite hopeful that they'd all register negative yesterday and be able to do something. So I expect they'll all be testing this morning to go see if they can at least go and stand in Times Square um and you know at midnight on on you know new year's eve um but they won't do it unless they are negative for the virus that they're, they're you know they're good eggs they'll behave themselves um but i would imagine that would be really exciting i can just imagine you know new year's eve, new year's eve new york times square all the build oh i bet that's really exciting um so they had a bit of a you know a bit of a flat <laughs> christmas but it might end on a high note in other news, I'll have lots of videos coming because I am going to film this afternoon. I'm going to finally film the JD Williams one. Um, I also, a Lakira box has arrived. I have all the jeans. They have now all arrived. Um, and I did do a little bit of online sales shopping. Only a little bit though. I didn't buy, oh sorry, <coughs> adjust myself. I didn't buy anywhere near as much as I would have in, in years gone past. I really struggled with the... Um, for example, Next is, is a shop I like. I don't have a great deal of success with them, but I do like them. But their colours this year were a little bit odd for me. I, I couldn't get my head round how someone with my body shape was, was going to wear um, those. So, yeah, I looked around, but I, I only found a few things that I liked. I do have an amazing coat that I bought uh, in Sea Salt, in the Sea Salt sale. Sea Salt sale. Um, because if you remember, I said going out with the kids and having to stand and watch them on swings and go-karts. And I discovered that even I could sometimes feel cold. Well, I bought myself a Parker coat, which I'm looking forward to showing you as well. I'm, th I'm thrilled with it. To be fair. I mean, it was still expensive, I have to say. Because I couldn't guess it from Sea Salt. It was sold out in the Sea Salt sale. But other people had the products and were doing a Sea Salt sale. <laughs> So I still got a good discount on it, but not quite as much. And I was still like, Arr! but I'm glad now it's here. I've, I've had a good look at it and I think, yeah, it's worth it. That will last me for years and years and donkey's years. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I think I filled in on everything. The animals are all okay. Um, it's actually quite a nice, as I say, quite a nice day. It's blowy. And I mean, the ground is so wet. We really need a decent frost here. Um, and I still have roses coming up all over the place, which I don't know how that will affect them in the spring, summer. Someone's gonna have to let me know if they know more about um, plants. But I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm looking out of the window of the conservatory over there. Um, and there's beautiful pink roses on, on my climber. And it's just in December. I mean, what? So, um, yeah, I'm going to get back to myself. I want to also say thank you so much for all the amazing messages and emails on my last video. Uh, I am working my way through them, uh, working my way through the emails too. Um, 
I'm bad for not answering comments. I am very bad for it. But this, I feel, you know, everybody deserves at least a recognition <laughs> that I've read. And they've been amazing. You guys are amazing. And um, I don't have any revolutions. <laughs> resolutions. Um, so I think I'm just going to say that I'm going to listen to my friends and ignore all those people that just want to pick, pick, pick. So that's going to be my revolution, <laughs> as it is in this house, is to just believe the good stuff and ignore the bad. So, as I say, I'll add on a little pick of uh, things because everybody's going to get about five or six products and I've sort of broken them up into, you know, some of them are not so good and some of them are amazing within one, one thing. But I think five or six is nice. And um, the, um, I keep wanting to call it the jaded the kaleidoscope haul and i hope you laugh as hard as i did there's a particular item in there that honestly i did think i was going to pee on the bedroom floor <laughs> anyway bye guys my name's born and i come on here to show you the things that i'm doing uh, and the things that I'm thinking, I can't show you the things I'm thinking, can I? But you know what I mean. <laughs> so there was a particular dress that kept coming up on my feed. Not Instagram, I don't really do Instagram. On my Facebook feed. And it was a nobody's child dress. But it was from, um, on the very website. So I went on to have a look, liked it a lot and thought it could be my Christmas dress. Christmas day dress. Um, and of course, while I was on there, I ordered some other things because I mean, why order just one thing really? But whether any of it is going to work out, who knows? But this is the dress from Nobody's Child. And I think it looks really pretty in the advert. You know, it always does though, doesn't it? Because they use beautiful, slim, gorgeous looking women. <laughs> and then we try it on or I try it on with my blimpy figure and it's something else. But what I liked about it, can you see it's black and then it's got hearts and kind of bows and flowers on it. It's long sleeve. It is, of course, a midi dress because everything is midi at the moment. Um, I just, I looked at it, I don't know how many times and in the end thought, come on let's go for it so that was the dress now I, I haven't got the prices here so i'm going to have to put them up on the screen <laughs> i'll put them up on the screen so that you know what they cost but that was the potential christmas day dress they also had these leggings now i'm not sure i couldn't make up my mind when i was looking at them and i still can't make up my mind now they're in my hands whether these are casual wear leggings or whether these are meant to be for sports they don't mention, I don't think, anything about sports. So they're black leggings, but they have this really cute stripe down the side. They do feel a bit thick for sports ones, so I'm, I'm hopeful. But I just thought they'd look really cute with like a black blouse or something like that. You know, tiny touch of leopard print. It's funny, I never used to wear leopard print at all when i was younger it was like no 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 and now occasionally i just like a little touch of it and i just thought that was cute and worth a try let's put it that way it's worth a try they were also i saw these tensile cuffed joggers they've got pockets they are just a cuffed jogger but they're made out of tensile so they might be quite comfortable and just sort of a casual way to wear a jumper, nice pair of trainers, you know, pop around doing bits and pieces. I don't know, they could look absolutely hideous because I'm not sure if joggers are a good idea for a woman with my proportions, but I'm gonna give it a go. I saw this dress too, which was by yours. I'm not sure now it's here. I still love the pattern on it. I love this shade of green. It's a, um, a three quarter sleeve v-neck it's just a very very simple um day dress house dress i don't know how you'd put it it was the color though it was the color that got me and i thought i don't have anything in my wardrobe like that i'd like to try it it's jersey though so i am worried because sometimes they just hang don't they i also picked up again oh no i was going to say this was again from yours and it's not it's from something called limited collection whatever that means um a plain black a dress again it's a jersey so it could hang and look awful it's got a ruffle on the bottom very difficult to show black on here but i just thought it was a really simple plain 
uh, pull it on, a little bit of jewellery or a nice scarf and, and, you know, forget about it and get on with your life kind of, kind of dress. So I thought it was worth a go. Now, last but not least, no one is allowed to laugh. No, you are allowed to laugh because I've got a feeling I'm going to howl. They were doing this jumper that is massively oversized. And as per usual, as I say, it looks stunning on the little girl on the website. Now, whether it will look stunning on me, I don't know. But it's this sort of camely brown colour, which I thought would look good on me. It's long sleeves. It's not too horrendously thick, but it is immensely big. It's almost like a jumper dress. And I think they might even have... Did they call it a jumper dress? Let me have a little look. Yes, they're calling it a jumper dress. I would never wear it as a dress, but over leggings, I thought it might have that kind of, oh, you know what I'm going for, that kind of young, casual, threw it on. Hmm. Let's see, shall we? Because I've got a feeling these are gonna be a bit of a riot, but I am hoping for one or two successes. I thought I'd start with the dresses because that's sort of where I'm most invested Unfortunately, I don't like this at all. Um, it is just loose. I still love the colour and I like this sort of, I suppose it's an animal print, I suppose. I like the sleeve length. I think that's great. But it just is just, there's too much of it. it it's just, there's no pockets. And it's just sort of hanging. Um, which is nice because just about everything I own at the moment isn't hanging, it's slightly on the tight side, but this is just, it's oversized and not in a good way, if you follow me. I mean, this is meant to be the boob bit, and yes, it doesn't come under the boob, so it doesn't bring it back into my body at all. It just sort of sits on my boobs, which I think is a little weird. It, it feels so much like a maternity dress, so much like a maternity dress, that it's not staying. So this really is a one and done dress, you know? Get up, put it on, you're done. I think I like it. <laughs> As always, I'm gonna to have to watch the film back because I just, my eyesight can't see properly, but it seems to fit reasonably well. It comes back in and, and gives a tiny bit, I mean, as much definition as you're gonna get when I'm as curvy as I am. <laughs> it hangs nicely on the back, I think. Um, it is incredibly simple, incredibly plain. I mean, it does have a little frill, I suppose. You know, it's got a nice V-neck. I just think this is a really easy dress. Dress it up with some nice jewelry or a scarf, maybe even put a belt on under here. I think the possibilities with this dress are endless. Obviously, some nice boots, nice heeled boots, and I'd be away. I still can't put my boots on, guys. <laughs> my toe is out of um, strapping. It's still, it's not painful, painful, but it's still touchy, and I can't quite put my normal shoes on yet. It, it really does hurt. Um, so I'm still having to do barefoot or just a pair of shoes. But anyway, I, I like this, I think depending on what the camera says. <laughs> what can I say? I've managed to stop laughing. I, when I put it on in the, in the uh, other room with the mirror, I just fell about laughing. Well, this is this knitted dress. And it is a dress. I mean, look how long that is. I, I think the weave is a bit thin for a dress. But it's much, I mean, it's meant to be oversized. So please don't think I'm being stupid. I knew it was going to be oversized, I knew it was going to be big and baggy, but I didn't realise quite how that would look on me, how that would, you know, change from a tiny, gorgeous little girl on a, on a, you know, on a website wearing one to someone of my girth wearing one. I mean, it's probably absolutely the right size for me, it's, but it just is doing nothing for me. I can't, you oh. know, there was my in the head, you know, in my, in my mind's eye jumper, and then there was this jumper, and this jumper is just, no. Right, um, the leggings, they're not bad. I quite like them, but I'm not mad about them. The fit is nice, the fit, they're comfortable, but the, the stripe is stiffer than the fabric, the black fabric. So I'm finding, I don't know if you can see, 
they're sort of creasing in an unpleasant way, not a way I want them to. So let's put it that way. So I'm not really feeling them. Um, can you see there's sort of the fabric, there's too much in places. And I think it's the ribbon down the side, this, or not ribbon, you know, this fabric that runs down the side. I think because it's so stiff, it's causing the leggings to behave in a strange fashion. So um, they're not a winner either, but this jumper, this jumper is my winner of, oh, it's the most form, what the hell were you thinking, thing that I have bought in a long time. But, oh, I could see it in my mind's eye. I certainly didn't see this. <laughs> okay, so this is one where I really do need help. Um, because I kind of like these joggers. I, I kind of like them. Um, they've got working pockets on the front and back. I don't know what I'd ever put in those, mind you. Uh, and little pockets here. They're a nice length. They are tensile, so they're, they're thinner. They're not as warm as like a, a jog pant material would be. And this was my sort of idea for wearing them. Just, you know, little pair of trainers the bottom this maybe a denim jacket to sort of edge them up a bit um my youngest daughter said oh they look really nice with heels mum <laughs> of course her fashion tastes and mine and she knows more of what's current and what isn't but I think I like them I think they're a reasonably good fit on me they're not huge and um baggy like clown trousers but they're not so tight that they're emphasising anything that I don't want to emphasise. So I, I really think these are cute and would definitely, definitely work hard in my wardrobe. I saved this dress to last because I'd had such high hopes of it. I think I like it, but I'm worried that it may be too big. There is an issue with the elastic on the sleeves. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. It's really, really baggy. So when I pull it up, it wants to fall down again, but that can be dealt with. That is not a big issue. I do have a lot of material in here, but it, for some reason, to me, <laughs> it doesn't feel wrong. Now you may say differently, and please do say if you think I'm out of my tiny mind. Obviously I'm gonna look at it on film as well, and that always helps me, because I sort of look at these things slightly as if it's not me wearing it, what would I say if a friend was wearing it? You know, I kind of try and get that, that mindset when I'm watching. But it's lovely and loose. I love the pattern. Um, it is a very me, wandering around, being relaxed. It is a very me dress. So I am terribly, terribly tempted. As I said, I would have to do something about these. This would drive me mad. Um, them falling down all the time. But what a nice change to not have the elastic so tight that it cuts off your circulation, eh, ladies? So, <laughs> I think I really like it. I'm gonna come in so that you can see this, this such a pretty little pattern with the, you know, with the hearts and the flowers and the, you know. So that's me and my very haul. So the only things in contention are this dress, which, yes, I have to fix these sleeves if I keep it, and the jog trousers. Um, I knew I was taking a punt with the jumper dress. I knew that. Um, but I thought it was really worth a try. At least I now know. Because I can't wear normal jumper dresses that are slim fitting, body con, because my body, no, not a chance. So I can't wear those. So I thought, well, maybe I could go down this oversized jumper route. I can't do that either. <laughs> so I think possibly jumpers, jumper dresses, Think maybe they're not my friend and I should stay away from them. Um, I also do like that one and done black dress. The fit on that thing was amazing. So what are we looking at? We're looking at sort of three potentials, four definite no's. So um, yeah, these sleeves, aren't they insane? Look at that. I could get two arms in there. <laughs> so that elastic would have to be shortened. It's not a big deal, is it? Um, yeah, so that was it, that was very, that was my, I have to admit, it was a late at night, sitting in bed, and up came this dress again on the stream, and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna have to try it, because every time I see it, I think, mm, I like that dress. 
<laughs> and these were the things that caught my eye <laughs> when I went through to the site to buy this dress. So um, yeah, I hope you're all getting ready for Christmas. I hope you're nearly there in fact, and I hope you found your Christmas day outfits. I like to wear something nice on Christmas day. I like to feel put together, but I find it's a hot, I mean, you're running back and forth to the kitchen. I sweat, so something loose. I always look for that. I don't look for your sparkles and your, and your tight because I just get so hot that I start sort of melting in front of the cooker. So, so this could be a great dress or it could be a disaster. Anyway, take care. I hope you're well. I hope you're happy and I'll see you soon.